Well, hey there, guys. It's another Christmas season. Lucy and I are going to show you, we did a quick snippet of it last year on how you make old-fashioned eggnog. Not that store-bought putrid crap full of garbage. This is old-fashioned nag, like the egg is in the nag, like that. And I'm not going to lie, this is not my recipe. I actually found this recipe from professional chef Alton Brown. And Alton Brown will tell you that this old-fashioned aged eggnog recipe actually comes from Rockefeller University. Part of their lab uses this every year for over a hundred years they've made this recipe and the cool thing is because it's aged we've kept some for well over a year. The longer it goes the better it tastes. So we're making a double batch so if you follow our instructions you're gonna end up with a double batch. A single batch has this. You're gonna need 12 eggs. All you're using is the yolks. You're gonna need a pound of sugar I didn't give you volume, I went with weight because weight when you're using dry goods gives you more accurate and repeatable measurements versus volume because things like sugar, flour and the like can uh, uh, actually get denser as they sit. We need a pint of half and half, a pint of whole milk, a pint of heavy cream. Now remember, we're doubling it. A pint is two cups if you didn't know. We're going to be using Pyrex, but one pint, two of those. So how many for us? We're doubling. Mm. We're going with four. Uh, you're also going to need some rum, cognac, and bourbon, as well as some freshly grated nutmeg. If you've never seen nutmeg whole, that's what it looks like. It grows on a tree. It smells so good. You're also going to use a little bit of kosher salt, and I like cinnamon. Doesn't call for it, just a sprinkle of cinnamon. Anything you cook is only as good as the ingredients you put into it. Would you agree? Yeah. Like if you start out to make like a chocolate cake and you buy the crummiest uh, flour, chocolate, etc., you're going to end up with kind of a crummy cake. So I use very good quality milk, cream, half and half. I use halfway decent booze. Like for this, we're using Hennessy, Hennessy cognac. We've got some Maker's Mark bourbon. You know, I'm not saying this is like crazy, it's super expensive, but don't buy the swag. And I've got some Havana Club Puerto Rican rum. Don't go out and buy like the garbage of the garbage, because if you're drinking it, I don't want to drink garbage booze. Uh, if you're into that, just buy some store-bought eggnog, all right? Let's get into it. First things first, because I double it, I've separated uh, whites and yolks from two dozen eggs. I'll show you how to do this if you've not done it. I saved two for last. Take the egg, a little crack crack, and the key is you're going to let the white of the egg fall away. Now you can use this for another recipe if you want. You can just make some egg whites, scrambled egg whites, etc. I am sending them to the compost pile in this case. But you see that it falls away. Super easy to do, wouldn't you agree? I think I did two dozen in about two minutes. So this is what it looks like. Ooh. I'm gonna rinse this off of me. This kind of this recipe has become a family standard for us. Oh, I got it in my pocket. We do it every year, and folks expect it. Normally, we start right after Thanksgiving or right before Thanksgiving. We'll make a batch, and that way it ages for at least a month before the holiday. What you're gonna do once you have these yolks loose? Um, should we use electric mixer or should we do it by hand? Electric. All right, she wants to go electric. Normally. Uh, if you don't have it, you can just use a whisk and what this looks like, you're going to take these yolks and you're going to start incorporating air into them. So you're going to beat the yolks. Now, normally if I wasn't filming this, we would use our KitchenAid stand mixer, but it's taking up too much real estate on the counter. So you're going to beat these yolks until you get a solid ribbon. The idea here is, is that you're entraining in, in air into the yolks. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So while she's doing that, I need two pounds of sugar. I'm gonna reach in front of you. Two pounds of sugar. And we're gonna use our food scale here. I'm gonna put my measuring bowl on there. Set the tear weight. And we'll start going. That's one pound, 13 ounces. And actually, because I don't like so sweet, I'll even throw a few tablespoons back. What do you think of them apples? That's a lot of sugar. That is. 
So we're at one pound, 12 ounces, give or take a few grams. Let me see that, keep going. A little more speed, please. Yep, don't go crazy and make a mess though. We're getting there, you can see it's starting to thicken and hold its shape. A lot of stuff you can do with eggs, it's amazing. Just to recap as she finishes this, you're gonna separate 12 eggs, whites from the yolks, the white are not part of this recipe. You're gonna beat the yolks until they get this lovely, I'm gonna start adding this, keep going, keep going, go in your circle. A ribbon is what we're looking for here. And we're gonna also throw the nutmeg in here in a second. So I've already grated this nutmeg. This recipe calls for a teaspoon, so I need two teaspoons. Once Lucy finishes with the sugar here, go ahead and get that zipped in. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like to grate. So I'm just using a very simple hand grater here. Grab the nutmeg, and I'm gonna grate away. No, uh, no science to this. Different size grater is going to give you different size. Oh, it smells so good, doesn't it? Let's check that out. You get a really nice, it's, it's very soft. It almost feels like flour, but mm, it's delicious. Okay, sl slower down. You're getting, up, you're getting to the point where, where, where we need to be. Just pick it up, all the way up. So you see that ribbon? That's what we're looking for. Go run back in there and mix again a little bit here. So we're, we're incorporating air into these eggs. This is actually a, a bit of chemistry that's happening. Now that nutmeg's in there. Guys, I wish you could smell this. It smells really good. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. So we've got that solid ribbon. Now, we've got to do the dairy. Let's grab that large bowl. We're gonna need pint of half and half, so a pint, as I told you guys, is two cups, and because we're doubling down, that's gonna give us four. So, half and half, we'll start with the heavy cream. The nice thing is, um, it's the same volume for each of these. Food for thought, if you don't use things like heavy cream or half and half a lot, uh, the solids can separate, so these have been in the fridge for a few days in preparation for this, so make sure you shake it up because you're gonna pour a lot of Basically, what's water in the bottom of the container will have the milk fat, which is what we need to make this work. So go ahead and give that half and half a little, a little shaky shake. So I said I need four cups. Now this has got a little bit more. You can see how thick that is. So if you are uh, looking for a low-fat holiday treat. This ain't it. This ain't it. No. No, this is not. This is some high protein. All right, so you go ahead and do the same with that. Four cups? Yep, four cups with that one. Let me get this out of our way. Oh! <laughs> go easy. When you get that sucker filled. What do I do with this? Here. Oh, it's dripping everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. All right, ready? Here. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. You can go a touch more. There you go. This isn't, uh, this isn't so critical where everything has to be exacting either. And then some whole milk. Whole milk, same thing. So again, a pint of each would be the normal recipe. We're doubling down, so two pints. Two pints is four cups. So we've got the dairy in. Now we need the liqueur. And we're gonna do, uh, I need a cup of the rum, a cup of the cognac, and a cup of the bourbon for the regular recipe we're doubling down. So, we're gonna go two cups of cognac. Oh yeah. Oh, by the way, kids, this recipe is not for children. All right. Hennessy. We're gonna do the rum now. And again, I'm using the Havana Club. It's a decent $20 bottle, nothing crazy. Good Lord. All right, there's my, there's my, there's my drink. <laughs> now, we haven't even got to the bourbon yet, kids. Awesome. This is a really great gift because, thank you for grabbing that. You know, you're, you're making somebody a 
delicious holiday treat. You're making a uh, a beverage that if you purchase good quality product, it's not cheap, but you're giving them a high quality, high quality holiday beverage. Now, of course, we're using the specified amount of alcohol. Some food for thought, and check this out. Don't think you can skimp on the alcohol on this. We're using raw eggs, guys, raw eggs. Part of the reason the chemistry department at Rockefeller University does this batch every year, it's pretty cool. So what they do, before the Christmas break, they go in the refrigerator and they pull out a bottle of eggnog. That eggnog was made from the students from last year. How cool is that? They take that eggnog, they enjoy it, and then the students make a whole other batch, put it in the fridge, and it sits there until the next year's students. And it's a little bit of a, a fun tradition, but it's also some science. See, the liquor in here pretty much immediately knocks out any kind of baddies that might be growing uh, or try to grow because of the eggs or cream. And I've tested it, uh, but don't think you can do this and then be like, oh, I just want two shots of alcohol. There's a high probability you'll get sick and die <laughs> if you age it, if you age it. Now, I also, check out that beautiful ribbon, loose. That is beautiful. Let's get a... Yeah, get a plastic spatula out of here. This one's good. And we'll just start folding these together. One of the, so you can start mixing. Check out that ribbon, guys. You see that? That's what you're looking for. If you don't have that, you're not going to have that delicious, creamy nog. I guarantee you, too, uh, if, you, if you are an eggnog fan and you don't like this, there's something wrong with you. I've never given it to anybody, anybody, even people. I'm just going to go low on this. Even people that are not eggnog fans, they like it because it's real ingredients. It's delicious. Why don't you go ahead and throw it in the sink, kid? It's delicious ingredient, ingredients that are quality ingredients, but they're in the right proportions. It's not too sweet. Uh, again, this is not a kid's recipe, guys. If you give this to your kids, they, they're not going to wake up when Santa comes, I'll tell you that much. Look at that ribbon. Look at that freaking ribbon, kid. Hold on to that for a minute. Why don't you scrape, scrape down whatever's left and I'll give this a mix. You are eating raw egg and sugar. We kind of live on the edge here. We, we have no problem eating raw egg in the Shook House. Now here's the thing. This is an aged eggnog recipe. While we could drink this, we, me an adult, she was not eating alcohol right there either. She was just eating, eating the egg portion. Um, you don't want to eat it right away. You want this to age some. It thickens, it mellows. Uh, right now it's going to be, the texture and consistency will be kind of like heavy cream, milk kind of a consistency. When we, when we let this age for a few weeks, at the very least. So this, right now we've got it three weeks to Christmas. Three weeks? Two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks of Christmas, it will be just starting to get primo a couple weeks. It's mellow, the uh, eggs and cream kind of take that bite out of the alcohol. It's delicious stuff. Don't waste any of that. One thing I forgot, I want to hit this with a little bit of cinnamon. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Some people don't like cinnamon. They say it's not like an authentic eggnog flavor. I think it's perfect. It complements the nutmeg. You saw I didn't go crazy. I had a, probably about a solid teaspoon, teaspoon and a half in there. Now the fun part that I know you and I have figured out doing this numerous times is getting it from this ginormous bowl into those little bottles without making a huge mess and wasting it. The other thing I found out doing this is when you're going from this container to the bottles, you wanna mix it every once in a while because all of that nutmeg that we added right now is uh, collecting at the bottom. Oh, what did we forget? We forgot a little bit of kosher salt. So quarter teaspoon, 
This is a half teaspoon. A little bit of salt is a nice add. We're gonna make sure we mix that up. You wanna kill the sink? So you go to a craft store, hobby kind of a store, I'm sure you can go online and purchase a bottle like this. We buy them, I see them uh, when we're out and about throughout the year. We'll find them places. And a bottle like that's like a dollar with a sealable lid. Grab the other one just so they can see it. And we've got all kinds, actually the dishwasher right now is full of them. We're making sure that they're good and clean and sanitized. So this is all we're gonna do. Yep, we're good. Fill it up, right? Something else as you're filling these, you get a little bit of, it's almost like head on a beer. So you may wanna fill up all of your jars and you can loosely cap them, but save like a half a ladle full for each because what happens is that head, the foam from filling will settle and in about five minutes, the volume will be down like where my finger is and you don't have a full jar. So we'll let that sit for a minute. But the final thing that I do is we just grate a little bit more delicious nutmeg. Go ahead and get that right in the top. And we put it right in the top. One, it looks pretty. Two, when somebody finally cracks this thing, that fresh nutmeg just hits you in the face. Let me show you guys what that looks like. You see that there? Can you see the fresh nutmeg up on top? Mm. So that's what you get, guys. I'm gonna just temporarily seal her like I said. High five. Another Merry Christmas to us, a Merry Christmas to you from the Shook and Carry Trainer family. Hey, I forgot to say this during the video. This stuff needs to go in the refrigerator. Don't mix it up and put it on the garage shelf or the pantry. This isn't like the eggnog you buy in the liquor store sitting on the shelf all year. It's got raw ingredients in it. Make sure it stays refrigerated. We've got a whole bucket of nog here. Can you guys imagine like back in the old days? Get your buckets, men, or your, your goblets. Let me, let me nog ya. <laughs> Let me nag you, it smells delicious. It smells like a lot of alcohol, fresh cream, fresh eggs, and love. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. That was fun. So, we'll recap the recipe. This, I'm gonna give you the recipe straight up, that way I don't even have to type it. 12 eggs, yolks only. Discard the whites or do something else with them. A pound of sugar. You know what, because some of you guys uh, may not have the ability, just Google how much is the volume for a pound of sugar. A pint of half and half, that's two cups. A pint of whole milk, that's two cups. A pint of heavy cream, that's two cups. One cup rum, one cup cognac, one cup bourbon, teaspoon freshly grated nutmeg, quarter te teaspoon of kosher salt, and then I throw a little bit of cinnamon in there and love. However you decide to get the love in the jar, is up to you. Merry Christmas. <laughs>